The Metro Council says it's a top priority this year. Blake Eason joins us with what they're up to. Hey, good morning to you, Neil. Yeah, with so many parties involved, from overcrowding at shelters or lack of accountability at the state level, tonight these issues become front and center to find the best course of action moving forward. So the meeting is being led by Council Member Sherry Weiner and Joy Stiles. It'll be held at 5 o'clock at the historic Metro Courthouse. They hope to highlight recent animal abuse cases and share the work being done across the city, along with acknowledging the challenges they face. This meeting follows the discovery of 17 cats found dead in Hermitage. They were found in a dumpster on Old Hickory Boulevard. Metro Animal Care and Control along with Metro Police are still investigating, but this is just one of many cases we covered in 2023. Councilmember Weiner argues this could be the root of a much deeper issue. I know last term I started looking at Title VIII, which is our, our animal control laws. I saw a lot of dogs off of leashes. I heard about dogs biting children. And essentially, Metro Animal Care and Control, which is MAC, was unable to do anything about it. And speaking to legal, there was a Fourth Amendment issue. And it was concerning for me that we have lots of responsible pet owners, but we also have a lot of irresponsible pet owners. And so we're also hearing from Metro Animal Care and Control this morning in a statement they shared with us. It reads in part, quote, so as far as the working group, we at MAC and the Metro Public Health Department are appreciative of the interest many council members are taking in MAC and the animals of our community. We look forward to hearing from those on the working group as we continuously work to address the needs of the animals and the people who care for them in our community. And of course, they will be on site tonight to answer any questions you might have. If you can't make this meeting tonight, another one will be held on January 31st to continue to move this conversation forward.